Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Pay and welcome to another episode of Bloge and Crypto. In today's episode, we're going to cover everything you need to know to get started with Ragnarok Labyrinth NFT. Now, if you're in Southeast Asia, it's pretty straightforward. You just got to go right to the App Store, download it, you're good to go. But for the rest of us in the world, there's a couple hoops we have to jump through in order to play. Luckily, it's not too difficult once you've kind of seen how to go through it. And before we jump in, I just want to remind everybody, we still have our thousand subscriber giveaway going on. And I'll have that pop up on the screen here. Make sure you enter in, into that for a chance to win up to $200. Uh, now, the best part about doing this is it really only takes about five, 10 minutes, and then you're set. Now, just to kind of jump right into it. First, what we're gonna need is LD player. Now I'm gonna provide all the links here down in the description below. So of course it's nice and easy for you guys. And basically we're just gonna to go to the ldplayer.net link that I provide here. You're gonna click this big button in yellow right on the front of the screen, which is gonna download the player. Now, once you open that up, run the application, install it, you're gonna to come to the screen that you seen just a moment ago. Now there's another step that you need to do after this though. Now we're gonna to have to go install what's called the Q app. So once again, I'm also going to provide this link down in the description below, so you have easy access for all you guys. And basically all you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you click this here button and you're gonna notice that it downloads an APK file. Now once this APK file is done, it's actually really nice how easy it is. All you do is you drag and drop it here on the player and it'll instantly install it. So what happens is now that you have the Q app in the LD player, this is essentially how you're going to get Ragnarok Labyrinth NFT. So you're going to bring up this app in particular, and we're going to search for Ragnarok in here. We're going to add this up. Ragnarok. Labyrinth NFT. There it is, the very first option. And you might have to go over to details. And then once you're here, you'll be able to download. There's usually a button right yes, where it says open. So you basically just hit download. And then once that's finished downloading, now it's going to appear in your LD player back over here and you're pretty much ready to start. Now, a couple other important things that you need to know about this application. There's a lot of customizability with this. And at first it's kind of a little overwhelming, but once you get used to it, it's pretty sweet. The one thing worth noting is if you come over here into the settings, you have a lot of options with the resolution. You can change it into mobile, tablet, ultra wide, which is kind of cool. You can customize it. You can change the DPI. You could choose how many cores are running, how much RAM. There's a lot of stuff here that you can actually tinker with. And I definitely recommend you try a couple of these settings. Uh, what's nice and a couple people have told us from our game guild is even on really old computers or computers that really don't have good graphics compatibility, you tinker with this enough to actually run the game pretty smoothly. And then of course there's all kinds of other stuff in here like game settings you can go and you can change the frame rate, there's audio, shortcuts, but really the main thing is the advanced settings with uh, the resolution and DPI and kind of going through there. Okay, so now you're good to play. So when we first jump open up the game, there's, there is going to be an update that you're going to have to install, which is usually separate from the main download that you had to do from the QO app. And then once you're in here, you're going to have to make sure that you link a Google account to this. Now, LD Player would have already prompted you for that. So when you guys first sign in, you're going to have to use an associated Google account or Gmail account with the app. Basically, you can think about this as it's like an emulator, right? So it's it's a phone or a mobile device on a computer. So of course you have to associate an email in order to access all of this. I ended up just making a, a separate email, a free one through Gmail to kind of keep things organized. But now we're going to get into the fun part. So once you actually get into the game, of course, there's going to be some uh, narration and things that start for you when you first start your character. You can see I'm quite a far, far along. I've actually transcended a couple times, job level 108, but all the menu and stuff is going to be pretty much similar. 
One thing you always want to make sure you do is add on your characters. So these are people who are going to support you every single day. Uh, well, while you're playing, rather. So every day that you log in, you're going to need to make sure that you add these in so that they can assist you. It really makes a big difference, especially fighting bosses. Now, one thing I always recommend people do before you get started or do go any further is go into the menu and then the settings. Just kind of like we went to the settings in the LD player. Because in here, you need to make sure that your Eno bag is linked in order to collect the RO tokens or the Labyrinth points, essentially the cryptocurrency of this game. And then, of course, you have to make sure that your Google is linked. So as long as your Google and your on buff Eno is linked, you're good to go. So there is, of course, some extra settings. You can change the graphics quality, kind of what happens with the camera. And then just moving back here, there's a lot of different things that you can go through on this page. But really, the main thing that you're going to want to be focused on every day is the quests. Because these are what's going to, there's a main quest, which is kind of your natural progression in the game. There's daily, which is super important that you stay on top of. That's where you're going to get your your awesome rewards. You can also see we get 50 arrow points every single day that we complete that. There's also different achievements and, of course, guild quests. Now, on top of that, there's also all these events that you want to make sure you stay on top of. There's a tree that resets. You can watch ads in order to do that. So you want to make sure that you're always collecting all of these materials consistently. And then there's also these rewards. So once you can see, you have to complete all your daily quests in order to get them. So really what you want to make sure you're doing is when you log in every day, do all your daily quests, come into the customer rewards, take your time going through this, and you're good to go. There's another thing that's really important too is dispatch. The dispatch is where you can essentially take some characters and put them on a, I'll show you an example here. You can see we sent this guy off to get some egg drizzle leaves. I have 22,000 of them right now. I can hit complete. We got another 300. I can do it again. And you basically want to go through and do this for all of them. And it depends on what, you know, items you need to currently be collecting. You know, maybe I don't need the yellow ones anymore. So I would stop that. But let's kind of just get out of here so I can show you a couple other things. There's also the labyrinth which you need to make sure that you're doing every single day. This is where you get the best card rewards. You can see here this one is this between a rank one and five card. Cards are really important for your equipment. Uh, every equipment piece can take cards. So of course, we want to make sure that we're doing these every day. And I believe it's three charges you get essentially per day. Uh, and of course, there's a lot of other things that you can do, but I think that's kind of a good basic breakdown, you know, Showed you guys how to get started with the game you had to download ld player get the q app then from the q app you download the actual ragnarok labyrinth nft game and then of course you can customize your settings in the ld player uh, and when you're actually playing you want to make sure really you stay on top of the daily quests the labyrinth and of course the daily quests really include most of those right and then there is this dungeon thing which is also my, the kind of last thing I'll mention that's worth adding in every day, making sure you go through each of these. See, there's a free entry you get every day. You can progress consistently. Endless towers, usually only once a week. Same with the, uh, the world boss. You can do that kind of frequently too. So that's everything you guys need to know to really get started and also kind of be on your way. In our next video, I'll dive into a lot more of, of the customizability, like crafting, some of the bosses, uh, summoning MVPs, duels, uh, the wheel, all the buffs. You know, we kind of just gave you here a crash course so you guys can get started, have fun, and kind of stay focused on what you need to accomplish every day, which is really just the daily quest. You know, and, and that's pretty typical of a lot of these MMORPG type games. But I'm really excited to show you guys this. This is awesome to see Gravity, you know, doing a play to earn title. And uh, it's just a really fun game. And you can tell it's an auto battler in a sense. Now there is a lot of things that you're doing. You're really spending all your time clicking around, but I actually really like how it's doing the attacking for you. So quite often I'll leave this just run overnight, arm up my Zenny, you know, come in for the next day, buy a bunch of gear or upgrades, and I'm good to go. Okay guys, thanks so much for your time today. If you liked this video, be sure to smash that like, 
down at the bottom. That really helps the YouTube algorithm show this content to other people who might be interested and really help expose our channel, get it out there. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. We have consistent play to earn content coming out pretty much four or five times a week at this point, which is awesome. And of course, turn on that bell notification so you guys can stay up to date. Until next time, cheers.